Hello everybody, so um, I'm starting this video um, at the place where I stopped the initial one um, and uh, I just went over how to add records to SQL Server uh, using C Sharp and that video is called Saving Data to SQL Server with C Sharp and ADO.net so I'm just gonna pick it up from there um, and now I'm gonna go over how to display data so I was just showing how uh, how to add data to it so if you look at it add and then if we go in there now we have our records in there right so let me minimize this I'm gonna close this part and um, I'm gonna go about visualizing the data that we have in SQL right now by adding um, a data grid to the form I'm just go ahead and add a couple labels here just for just so we can identify things without a problem so this is our first name and this right here is our last name. Okay, uh, bring this up here. Let's add a data grid to the form. And I'm gonna call this data grid just DG, just for short. Uh, instead of form, call it form. I just don't like to have that form up there. So let's go ahead and uh, double click add record again. Um, let's add a data set to this. So the data set is our holding place in memory. Okay, so that's how we're gonna uh, hold data that we're gonna bring from, from SQL. So we have the first part of SQL, which is the uh, saving data in here uh, and we should separate those two so let me go ahead and create let's add data and then let me add another button in here just call display data just display So it's going to be very similar from uh, from this part. Um, actually, we should move this to to here, like that. And then let's go ahead and then create another command for our data adapter here. Select command equals new SQL command, and this command is going to be select all from table contacts. It's gonna ask me what connection I'm gonna use. I'm gonna enter that. Uh, now that I have that, um, I can just call a data set that fill data table. And now I'm gonna say that my data grid uh, data source equals to data set dot table zero let's give that a try there you go there there's our data so we could add another record and then I'm gonna say John Doe add I haven't refreshed it yet so we gotta click display so you see now you have to tweak uh, now every time I click display it's gonna it's gonna pull the entire the entire records and it's just gonna keep adding to it so one thing that we can do here on the uh, data set every time we call it we can do data set dot clear before we fill it so the data set is gonna be clean so we can go about it that way so now if I display, now I have all my records, and I can click keep, uh, clicking display and it's not gonna repeat, it's not gonna add more. Uh, Mary Doe add display. Now we have another one. So that was a very quick one, um, just for you to see how to uh, retrieve data from SQL. Um, you stay tuned, subscribe, rate, um, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.